Hey, this is Shane Long Photography, and after over 120 weddings with this camera, this is my four minute review of the 5D Mark IV. I'm gonna show you five things I love about it, we'll talk about some things I think it could improve, and we'll wrap it up with some concluding thoughts. Here we go. Though I prefer shooting with my camera up to my eye, when I discovered the live view with the dual pixel technology, I could not believe how accurate and fast the autofocus was. It has face detection and tracking ability. The photos come out crisp, sharp, and in focus every single time, and so now I probably shoot 99% of the time in live view. If you are gonna shoot in live view mode, I recommend turning off your automatic image review and shooting in servo mode. That way you won't get a distracting black screen that happens in between images. Now let's talk where it matters most, image quality. The camera features a 30 megapixel sensor. The file sizes are small enough that they don't bog down my computer, and yet there's enough pixels there that if I want to crop way in on an image, I certainly can. It has Canon's fantastic color science, and there's more than enough dynamic range and great shadow recovery. I've pushed images more than four stops before. The high ISO ability is also phenomenal. If I want to shoot natural light for a first dance or a sparkler photo, shooting at 6400 or 12800 is not a problem. Overall, I could not be more impressed with the image quality. I love the 10 times zoom for situations where focus might be difficult to achieve. I've programmed my set button to zoom in, then I half hold on my shutter to keep the focus, then I press the set again to zoom back out, and the focus is nailed. The build quality of this camera really could not be better. It's gone through hundreds of weddings, mini photo shoots on sandy beaches, and weddings on rainy days. The size of the camera is very good with easy access to all the buttons, but I do find the grip to be a touch too big as my wrist gets a little tired by the end of a full wedding day. I love the security of knowing that my images are backed up as soon as I'm shooting. I shoot full raw to the compact flash card and shoot medium raw backup images to the SD card. With all the buttons on this camera, it can easily be customized to meet your shooting style. Just head into the custom controls and you can map about any button to do what you want it to do. For example, I've mapped the AF area selection button so that if I hold it down while turning the main dial, it adjusts my ISO. Also, I've changed the button that's next to the lens so that if I hold it down, it switches between one shot to servo mode. This allows me to very quickly go from single shot, where I'm focusing on a stationary subject, to photographing something in movement, like a bride walking down the aisle. Since 2016, this camera has been my wedding workhorse. It might not be the most flashy, technology-filled camera, but it's reliable, it has great customization, and the images it makes are absolutely stunning. Almost all the photos you see at the end of this slideshow were made with this camera. That said, for me personally, I'm really considering upgrading to that R5 when it becomes available, just because the benefits of an electronic viewfinder are so amazing. If this video was helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more fun stuff coming for you. We'll see you next time.